Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's Nick with Feeding Fitness. Just got back from the gym and I'm gonna show you my favorite new post-workout shake. Uh, it's really fitting with uh, St. Patrick's Day being just around the corner. So uh, today we're gonna make a post-workout protein shamrock shake. All right, let's go. Okay, here's our ingredients. First, I'm going to start off with about 10 ice cubes in my blender. I have a, a Nutribullet. I really love it. I used to have the Magic Bullet. The Nutribullet is like 100 times better. Um, cr crushes ice like nobody's business. So um, you can use a blender, a food processor, whatever you're going to use. It's got to be able to crush ice though. So anyways, I've got 10 ice cubes in my Nutribullet here. I'm going to add half a cup of cottage cheese. You can use fat-free, low-fat, whatever you want. If you don't like cottage cheese, I can hear you now already going, oh, I'm not going to eat that, I hate cottage cheese. You cannot taste it. It's simply in there to add thickness to the shake. Trust me, try it, it'll be fine. All right, next we're going to add a scoop of whey protein. I'm using Smart Powder Vanilla. Um, I would suggest you use vanilla unless you have a mint protein then go ahead and use mint but I don't know how many of you have mint on hand so scoop of vanilla. Then we're going to use um, some pistachio sugar-free fat-free jello instant pudding. I already have this measured out it's just a teaspoon so just just a real little bit that works out to be like half of a serving it's only like 15 calories so um, next we're going to do an optional sweetener. I'm going to add two packets of stevia. Uh, again, if you don't like artificial sweeteners, feel free to skip this step, but I think it will just make it taste a little better. Alright, we'll get those in there. Next thing we're going to do is add peppermint extract. Now, if you're using mint protein powder, you can probably skip this and be careful. You just want a drop of this stuff or it's going to be overpoweringly minty. So just going to put a teeny little dab of that in. Yeah, that's all. That's all you need. Next, because it's a shamrock shake and we want it to look green, I'm going to put two drops of green food coloring. Final ingredient, also not necessary but we'll give it that thick shake that resembles the shamrock shake you get at the fast food restaurant. Um, just a pinch of xanthan gum. Again, you probably don't have this on hand. If you don't, you can skip it. Your shake just won't be as thick. But just a teeny pinch there. I just added a sprinkle. Okay, those are the basic ingredients. Uh, you can go ahead and grind that up and you're going to have a very thick shake. I like to add about four ounces of water to mine and that's going to make it more the shake consistency. So let me get some water here and we'll add that. About four ounces of water. Okay. Screw it on and blend it. Okay, here's what it looks like coming out of the blender. I'm going to put it in a clear glass jar here. Nice, thick, frothy, mint green shake. Hold on. One more, uh, one more additive here. Wouldn't be a proper shamrock shake without a little whipped cream. Um, ready whip, fat free whipped cream, five calories a tablespoon. Get this stuff, it's the best. So here's the uh, final version. Delicious. Um, I'm going to list the ingredients down below so you, you don't have to rewatch the video a million times. Um, if you like the recipe, give it a thumbs up. Have any questions, um, throw them in the comments. Please subscribe to the channel and uh, check out our Facebook page, facebook.com up slash feeding fitness. See you next time.